I'm Shelby Ballman, and welcome to this week's Dairy Dialogue. So as you know, our bottles are made of glass. And so when you buy our bottles, you put down a $2 bottle deposit for each bottle, and they make $2 back each time you return them to the store. And we get a lot of questions just on how this bottle return process works. So for this week's Dairy Dialogue, we're going to walk you through that process. So come join us. So the first step of the bottle return process is of course getting your milk. So head to your nearest store that carries our products, and if you don't know where that's at, head on over to our website, followinsteria.com slash stores, and you can type in your zip code and find a store nearest to you that carries our product. So once you head to your nearest store um, and locate the Volumen's milk and grab whatever flavors your heart desires, you can head on over to checkout. So checkout is where the $2 bottle deposit will be added on, um, and that is $2 for each bottle that you purchase. So after you purchase your milk, be sure to head on home and enjoy it. Sip it, uh, put it in some of your dishes that you're cooking, whatever it may be. And once you're through with your milk, be sure to rinse it out and get all the last drops of milk out. That's really important. Um, and then discard the caps before you return the bottles. Um, so after you get all the bottles, load them up and head them to your near store. So a question we get a lot is, do I have to return it to the store where I purchased it from? And no, you don't. Any store that carries our product um, is able to accept the bottle return process, whether or not you purchased it from there originally. So again, if you don't know uh, where all the stores are that carry our product, head on over to our website to find all the stores nearest you. So after you get all your bottles and head on over to your store, um, each store is a little bit different in this next step of the process. Some stores will accept the bottles at checkout, and some stores will um, want you to take them to customer service in order to get your bottle returned back. So just be sure to check in with your store, see what their protocol is, and once you bring the bottles back and know where to bring them to in the store, um, you will get $2 back for each bottle that you bring back. So that's it, you've completed the bottle return process. Easy as that. Now, if you still have questions after this video, be sure to leave some comments below, and we will make sure to answer those questions and clear up any confusion that you may have. And also, you know, ask us some questions just about Volumens in general. We'd be happy to answer those. Thanks again, guys, for joining us on this week's Dairy Dialogue, and we'll see you all soon.